ओके अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड वेलकम टू दिस कोर्स बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस प्योर बिजनेस इंटेलिजेंस सो द मेन पॉइंट अबाउट दिस कोर्स इज दैट यू हैव टू लर्न द स्किल्स फॉर डेटा ड्रिवन डिसीजन मेकिंग ठीक है दिस कोर्स इज ऑल अबाउट हैंड्स ऑन एक्टिविटीज and it's something which is really critical at least uh, in these days and uh, my purpose in this course is uh, not to involve you too much in theoretical concepts uh, but to impart pure hands on skills as much as possible theek okay. hai we'll discuss the theory from time to time little by little when the need arises but i'll try to explain most of the concepts directly on the whiteboard um rather than showing you powerpoint presentations sorry about so um you guys all of you have to get yourself ready for uh you know hands on and uh the point is that uh hands on is a good thing uh in 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 these times uh, because it helps you develop the skill so we can talk about lots and lots of theory but unless we do hands on we will not be able to develop the skill so this course is uh, hands on intensive you have to work hard uh, you have to discover many things which i will not be teaching okay because i can't claim myself to be an expert in all the bi tools which i will be teaching in this course uh but you at least have to discover more based on the assignments which i am giving you and the more you learn a tool the more you learn how to do bi you know uh what's the basic process of bi we're going to discuss that uh, today and we're going to discuss about data warehousing we're going to see google data studio just a few examples there we we have very short time so we need to hurry up so um the scope of this course is what i have told you that you have to learn data driven decision making and uh, i have been teaching this uh, stuff since uh, two semesters uh, i taught it or taught this to i i i've been teaching bi this is the third time i think i'm teaching bi the first time it was uh, largely theoretical but the second time it was all hands on in fact this is the fourth time so the second and third time it was mostly hands on and it was very beneficial for the students so you can ask them as well uh, how it how it went and um, i have also taught this to business analytics guys uh, from the marketing and management side so they found it really helpful and they worked really hard in spring 2020 when we had corona uh, so that was a remarkable course really one of the best courses uh, that i taught <clears throat> there was a lot of uh, lot of electricity in the course lot of challenge lots of you know lightning going on <laughs> uh, so it was a very challenging and a very good course um so the uh, the main point is that you know you have to you all of all of you know if you have taken data warehousing even if you have not taken it you will still understand that uh, from the data we can extract the insights and uh, nowadays we have lots and lots of data being accumulated uh, but the main point is that it is not being used uska istemal itna acha nahi ho raha uh because it's not being utilized properly for analysis of customer okay or operational data so business intelligence is one way you can do that okay is just one way you can actually uh get knowledge from the data it's not the complete uh, methodology for uh you know comprehend com uh, you know uh, understanding the data for example you can also make predictions from the data but bi is not related to making predictions uh, yes you can make some forecasts uh, but you don't really know how the forecasts are working for example the forecasts are working based on arima models in most cases and arima models are pretty complicated to understand so you won't be required to delve into the details but you can generate forecasts through bi tools okay 
Um, so yeah, so we will be targeting both small and large data sets because uh, when we have like things like Power BI, so Power BI is, is now integrated with obviously Azure in a professional environment. And in Azure means that you can have big data. So you can analyze big data on Power BI uh, very easily these days. The same goes for Tableau yeah? or any other you know, tool. Uh, so initially we have to go through some data warehousing. I will definitely not be discussing this through a PowerPoint presentation. I will just explain on whiteboard and try to show some examples of what is data warehousing. Uh, and then obviously we have some BI related theory. And then obviously we go on to these hands-on activities. <clears throat> and one of the things we have to do, which I was not able to do in the warehousing course even is the EDA part. And that is something which you guys need to really get your hands dirty on. Uh, you know, understanding the data, removing the errors, outliers, and blah, blah, blah. So there's a lot of stuff there with, that we need to cover as soon as possible. Okay. Um, then we'll talk about KPIs and you know the dashboards and design. So when when I when I have multiple charts, for example, I have a pie chart, I have a tree map and I have some geographical earth chart example. So I accumulate all of them in a dashboard, okay? And if I have multiple dashboards, then I can create a story out of that. So this is the story uh, number, part number one, then I can have another dashboard, which tell me part two, which tells, tells me part two, uh, then it, another one which tells me part three and so on. So that's a story that we can tell to the higher management. So I hope this is clear. If you don't understand anything, please interrupt me immediately, okay? Um, I plan to tackle, uh, I, I plan to do four at least tools in this course. I have not done four before, but it, it, it would all depend on you how much you're working. You know? So if you don't uh, keep pace with the course, then you, you, are, you are not going to learn that much. So it's a bit difficult, but we have, obviously Power BI is very famous in Pakistan at least. Many people are using that. Uh, <coughs> Tableau is famous elsewhere, uh, not that much in Pakistan, I guess, uh, but it's still extremely famous. Click obviously is also famous in Pakistan. So lots of companies are using Click. Uh, Spotify is something which I got from LinkedIn. So I sent a query on LinkedIn regarding the, the more prevalent BI tools in the industry. So I got responses for these four. I also got a response for SaaS BI tool. I've not dug that up as yet because I've not explored the academic license option. Um, but if the time remains, we'll tackle that as well. So these are the four tools which are being used. I think Spot fire is on number four. Uh, we're going to be touching the business case studies uh, which are relevant to us, that's uh, Pakistan. Telecom, finance, healthcare, retail, e-commerce, agriculture, blah, blah, blah. So all of these are Pakistani related and uh, corporates, okay? <clears throat> so that's going to be our focus, inshallah. Data sets can be downloaded and I, I can also provide the data sets <clears throat> based on what I have already. So let's see how that works out. I've not worked that out as yet. I've been really busy in the last, uh, uh, in the last two, one or two months. So that's why. Um, obviously, uh, objectives are pretty clear from the scope, right? You get the knowledge of warehousing, inshallah. You get the knowledge of how to uh, do the EDA part or wrangle the data, clean it. You learn how to do a BI methodology. And then you learn how to do the data driven decision making. And uh, then obviously some, there will be some assignments regarding ke abhi industry mein kya ho hai, abhi survey mein kya baat hai. So wo bhi aap kar sakte hai. we'll also go through these assignments and quizzes. Okay. So let's proceed. So learning outcomes. Uh, yeah. So if you don't learn this, then frankly speaking, then there's no use of the course. Uh, there are people in the developed world who believe that the academics are not imparting skills. They are just taking money and, you know, the teachers are just earning money and there's nothing going on. There are people who actually believe that they graduate karte hai, undergrad se, but they don't have the skills. They have a GPA of 3.5, but they don't know how to do things. 
they don't know programming they don't know uh, analytics uh, they don't know software development uh, they don't know data science how to do that they just you know they're just managing things or they don't have the skill aur ye ho raha hai unfortunately ye bahut zyada ho raha hai shaharon mein to nahi ho raha lekin in the suburbs i guess the universities jo ke chote shaharon mein hai i guess ki wahan pe ye ho raha hai Uh, so that's not good right i mean agar if you don't learn the skills in universities then what's the you know by the end of this course if i give you a data set you should be able to get the background knowledge of that you should be able to discover the problem you should be able to wrangle it and then you should be able to solve the problem using data driven decision making by selecting the relevant charts you know it all seems very cozy and com- com- uh, comforting right now that oh uh we can use the pie charts or the heat maps or the ribbon charts uh, or the sanki charts so it's going to be fun but it's not fun actually it's it's pretty difficult to do it uh you know it's, it, this is not a plug and play thing to do it's, you just you have to solve a problem that's the problem you have to solve the problem through a bi dashboard or a bi story yeah so uh, weekly lecture breakdown uh first of all obviously we're going to be talking about warehousing this week rolling up rolling down hierarchies different examples of star schema making a lab cubes so i will be touching these topics as much as i believe that these are important and then uh we are going to be talking about the bi uh the bi theory actually okay uh for example definition components of bi goals of bi types uh, what's the methodology um i i'll be trying to do everything on the whiteboard if you don't mind uh, if you have to learn then you have to see the video uh, it's not like you open the powerpoint presentation and do it yourself i will give you powerpoint presentations inshallah but uh, for me they are not very important <laughs> and then obviously this is something which is really important for me um miss, missing values dirty data cleaning the data so you have to be you must know python if you don't know python then you have to learn python okay that's very important and uh, data cleaning and eda are 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 eda uh, data cleaning comes under eda so eda involves all of these things jo ke yahan pe week 4 or week 5 mein likhi hain uh it, this is a, a almost at least sorry 60% of the effort at least of uh, 60% of the effort of uh, analytics not just bi okay so yeah so this is difficult so and then uh, don't worry about this week 6 i don't think so okay, this is going to happen in week 6 this might happen earlier on uh but we have to understand the impact of bi charts so i have a presentation in which i have added all the bi charts okay which i know and uh, then we can go through them and then we can you know you will you will you will be able to find out when should we use which chart uh, and obviously there are some dashboard practices uh, how to design a good dashboard that's not easy Uh, so we have to see the current practices so i'll take this stuff from the blogs really i i, I don't <laughs> I, i i don't think so there's any there is any textbook uh, right now because these things are changing from very frequently there might be ebooks if you if you find a good ebook then also tell me i will also search for this okay but we have to learn how to design a dashboard that's what we have to learn so i'm going to be touching blogs and ebooks in in this case yeah we also have to spend one week in this activity uh, you have to understand this uh, i will not be explaining the arima models here the auto correlation functions and the partial auto correlation functions you might be knowing it already but let me tell you that it's not easy to do it so the bi tool is helps you do that very you know um very easily you know you you just have to you just have to uh, do a few clicks and uh, you can learn uh you can learn uh, the uh, time series forecasting activity and then we have the project discussion and demos this is a textbook which uh, is available in the library uh, you can consult it from time to time it's good to read things and these are some of the reference books 
uh, which are there in the library as well, I guess. I, I think uh, I, I saw them. So some of them are business analytics. There's not much difference between business analytics and business intelligence. Okay, so business analytics actually involves, um, might be considered, you know, it's a it's a it's it's an industry specific term, I guess, because in the industry you have a job uh, post by the name of business analyst. Okay, so business analyst is someone who knows about the business as well as about analytics. That's my take on uh, on this definition. So he's a he's an intermediary sort of person, uh, the liaison between uh, the business guys and the IT guys. Because uh, there is a gap between business and the IT or business or the analytics team. There's a gap. So the business analyst is a person who's supposed to bridge this gap. That's why he's he's a very important person in the in the company. So he is supposed to, he or she is supposed to understand the business problem and convey that in a very good way to the analytics team. And obviously to ensure that they have they actually solve the problem. So he's he's a very very important person. So in business analyst, in in business analytics, you need to know about BI, about warehousing, about predictive analytics or machine learning, also about big data analytics, deep learning. He, in my opinion, he or she knows needs to know about everything. Not necessarily a skill development thing, but uh, they need they need to have the hands on to understand what actually happens, and they also need to know about the business. So it's a very hybrid job and uh, yeah it's very important there will be no midterm exam there will be no final exam okay so all of you guys can relax and you know just uh, take the tension out of your head uh, but um, at the end of each class i'm going to give you a small assignment or quiz uh, and the guys who took data warehousing with me they know that this thing is very important for your grade because I, I guess some of the students uh, did not get a grade which they were intending because they were not able to score well in the initial assessments which I was giving at the end of each class. Uh, and for me, this is important. This might seem for you something you know like extraordinary or absurd, uh, but uh, for me, this is not absurd because uh, I. I I think this is the best way to evaluate evaluate the students in this in these times. I don't want to take a quiz after two weeks or three weeks. It does, just does, does not add up for me. So learn and give the exam. Okay. There will be several mega assignments. For example, your first mega assignment will be the EDA assignment in which you have to do a very comprehensive wrangling activity on Python. And you have to actually make a template for that. So I'm gonna tell you uh, what you're supposed to do. Uh, there will be one mega project, uh, only two per group are allowed. And obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all the classes online until the semester finishes. That's what I intend to do because I, I just cannot do hybrid, okay? Um, if all of you agree to take the class online, then uh, I will be there. If all of you, all 34 students of you agree, okay, okay uh, I all of us want online, then you have to you have to sign you have to sign a document, an affidavit, and then I will come online. You might need to sign that. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, th this is you just you will be happy to to see this, I guess. Uh, but this is what you need to keep in mind: the mega assignments and the quizzes are 50 to 55 percent. I don't know what's the breakage, uh, the, the distribution right now within this. Uh, it will depend on the type of the assignment, okay? So a, a mega assignment could be like 4% or 5% each. And the other quizzes can be like 1% to 2% to 3% each, something like that. I, I don't know how that will work out, but... And the project is definitely going to be at least 45% and definitely, I guess, 50%. So this is what I had to say uh, about this. Uh, oh, sorry. This is what I had to say about the course outline. So I guess this is clear. Any questions? Yes, sir. Sir, uh, will the quizzes be related to what you have studied as in the 
Are you in the class? Of course. What else would they be related to? No, no, sir. The current class. This class is one. Yeah. So in in some cases, what I teach, I will give. Okay. In some cases, you have to do some research. And uh, one of the things that I want to stress is uh, the teaching. Because uh, sorry, the cheating. Um, the point is that you know, you. आज कल के जमाने में आपको सब चीजें ऑनलाइन मिल जाती हैं मैं मैं किसी किस्म का भी सवाल दूं आपको आप उसको गूगल करेंगे यू कैन गेट ऑनलाइन कंटेंट दैट्स दैट्स ऑलमोस्ट हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रॉबिलिटी लेकिन द पॉइंट इज के व्हाट यू लर्न ठीक है व्हाट यू लर्न हाउ मच यू पार्टिसिपेट इन द क्लास एंड आपके असाइनमेंट्स में एफर्ट कितना नजर आता है तो आई थिंक इन आई विल बी एबल टू गेट के कौन सा बच्चा मेहनत कर रहा है कौन सा बच्चा मेहनत नहीं कर रहा Uh, when you do something wrong then it is definite ke you are going to get caught aisa nahi hua ki kisi bande ne koi duniya mein kabhi koi galat kaam kiya ho aur usko pakda na gaya ho ye allah ka nizam hai aur fir usme insult bhi hoti hai it is it is it is not respectful to do it you can get less marks but you at least you will be respectful in the eyes of the teachers and also in the eyes of god theek okay? hai so therefore Uh, मैं आपको यही बार बार कहूंगा कि एब्सोल्युटली इस कोर्स में तो डेफिनेटली देर इज एब्सोल्युटली नो नीड इवन टू आस्क एनी बॉडी ये सवाल का जवाब क्या है कि ये तो मतलब ये तो ऐसा कोर्स है कि इसके अंदर तो यू इफ यू डोंट लर्न योर सेल्फ देन आई विल एनकरेज यू टू प्लीज ड्रॉप द कोर्स एंड गो टू सम अदर इलेक्टिव जिसमें आप वो काम कर सकें जो आप करना चाहते हैं या करते हैं There are many electives, I guess, जो कि ऑफर हो रहे हैं तो आप वो ले सकते हैं मुझे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है लेकिन मेरे लिए जो लोग चीटिंग करते हैं उनको डिटेक्ट करना और फिर उनके उनके ऊपर टाइम अपना स्पेंड करना ये मेरे लिए बड़ा इट्स समथिंग विच इज रियली डिस्टर्बिंग फॉर मी एंड कंसिडरिंग के आप किस यूनिवर्सिटी में पढ़ रहे हैं और कितनी इन्वेस्टमेंट आप पर हुई है तो वी शुड नॉट बी इवन थिंकिंग अबाउट दीज थिंग्स तो uh, मैं अपने एक्सपीरियंस से बात कर रहा हूँ आई एम नॉट ऑलरेडी चार्जिंग यू फॉर एनी एनी क्राइम बट आई विल हाईली मतलब आप ये 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 मुमकिन हो सकता है कि एक बंदा टैबलू पे अपनी वर्कशीट बनाए समन बेक्स ए वर्कशीट ऑन टैबलू शेयर्स इट विद हिस्स फ्रेंड एंड द फ्रेंड कॉपीज दैट एंड यू नो दिस डज सम चेंजेस एंड आई माइट नॉट बी एबल टू डिटेक्ट दैट लेकिन सोन और लेटर समथिंग विल हैपन इन विच You will get caught. और जो है वो उसका फिर कोई फायदा होगा नहीं सही है तो अब आपकी असेसमेंट कैसे होगी प्रोजेक्ट की वो अगर मुझे आपके प्रोजेक्ट में ऑब्वियसली ये ऐसा प्रोजेक्ट होगा कि जिसमें डेमो मेरे लिए बड़ा जरूरी होगा वेयर हाउसिंग में तो प्रॉब उसमें ऐसा मामला था कि आई वॉज एबल टू टेस्ट बाई लुकिंग एट दी कॉन्टेंट ठीक है उसमें इतना चांस चीटिंग का था भी नहीं लेकिन ये ऐसा प्रोजेक्ट होगा कि जिसमें तो डेफिनेटली आई हैव टू आस्क क्वेश्चंस एंड यू हैव टू बी एक्सट्रीमली केयरफुल इन द फाइनल प्रोजेक्ट डेमो क्योंकि अगर उसमें आपने एक भी सवाल गलत कर दिया दैट दैट मींस के पांच से दस परसेंट नंबर आपके हाथ से निकल गए इफ यू नॉट एबल टू आंसर कॉन्फिडेंटली सो यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल इन दिस कोर्स आई विल एनकरेज ऑल ऑफ यू टू एब्सोल्युटली ये वो ना करें अगर आप उस स्कोप पर नहीं चल सकते जो मैंने अभी कहा है आपके सामने मैंने जो बात की है तो भाई आप आई विल इनकरेज यू कि भाई आप कोर्स ना लें ठीक है अच्छा नाउ पार्ट टू द सेकेंड थिंग दैट वी हैव टू डू इज एक सेकेंड मीटी फर्स्ट चेक हाँ Are we recording? Yeah, we are recording. Okay. Okay. Um, it's down here. Okay. This is. Uh, ha. Pehli. The first thing is that I am going to float uh, Google Forms. ठीक है. Uh, I am going to float a Google Form जिसमें आपको अपने cell number enter करने हैं. ठीक है बाय टू डाइट डेफिनेटली उसके बाद आपका एक व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बनेगा आई विल नॉट बी मेकिंग एनी सिग्नल ग्रुप ठीक है आई विल बी यूजिंग व्हाट्सएप आई हैव एब्सोल्युटली नो इश्यूज 
in uh, whatsapp in facebook sharing my information with anybody i don't i have nothing to share it is well ki achhi baat hai ki dusron ko pata chal jaye ki main kya baat kar raha hu okay i i want my information to be conveyed everywhere so i will not be making any signal group please theek hai so all of you must agree with that um uh, whatsapp group aapko banega google forms pe aap apna phone number enter kare aur phir what you have to do is to have first you have to get this uh they have to do student license let me just uh, so um i have already downloaded tableau i took the license academic license uh so you can see these installers here i just downloaded them now when i got the license like maybe 2 weeks ago it took some time for me because i am a teacher so, but but you have to do is to have to use your uh you have to use your khi id and uh, nafisa you can use your uh, iba domain id to get the license okay yes sir okay uh so all of you have to take a license uh, it's better i can also get the license for you i think i took it but i i don't think so i have 36 licenses so all of you can apply separately for that so let me go into this website <coughs> yeah so get tableau for free so you can just explore this you can you can uh, start here get tableau for free uh, so so students are accredited are eligible for free one year license to activate tableau desktop and tableau prep our uh, tableau prep is a very good wrangling tool it it's it's extremely useful we're going to do that as well and uh, we are also going to have uh, obviously tableau desktop is the main tool that we want to use so you can complete the form below and uh, here you have to write your you don't have to put gmail here just put the iba domain confirm blah 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 and this goes on okay um the other thing i did was ke i took this uh, click license um for me it was <clears throat> a very tough time uh, because there was some problem on their cloud so this is running on the cloud so this is basically click sense which is running on the cloud they don't have Uh, a downloadable desktop version if it if there is a version i was not able to get it okay uh, but i got this through the academic license so let me let me check whether okay we have the uh, let me check whether you have a click student license i guess you should be having that um uh, i'm not actually sure i think i took the license for all of you apply to student program that's what you have to do okay you have to apply to student program i applied to this educator program uh, again i if i took license i took licenses for maybe 25 to 30 students but you are more than 30 students so i can't manage that right now so i will encourage all of you to apply this is a this is a bit complicated activity because what you have to do is that you have to first of all create some account on my my click so this uh, okay i'm going to uh, let me first uh, so this is for the click and let me uh, oh sorry about that and this is for the w i'm just putting the urls there so you can apply it um yeah so uh is something like the, you have to make an account here so this is not accessible because obviously this is not the website they are looking for so you have to make an account on my click portal when you get the license i guess or for, you have to make the account first on my click portal um and then you can apply for the license and you know it will take some time when you create the account then uh, what you have to do is that you have to i don't know what happens in your case but i was required to create this tenant and for me this option was not coming in the first place so i told them that okay uh, i need this i i guess the tenant is is the student but i don't know how much license i can create so i will encourage all of you to have your own click accounts okay 
Is that fine up to now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, regarding Power BI, that's very ex extremely simple. You just go, you just go ahead and download that. For that, you need to have a, a Microsoft account. I, I don't think so that your KHI account is the Microsoft account, but you can put your Skype ID. You can create a Skype ID, and you can put that, and uh, it's gonna process it. Okay. So you download the Power BI. Uh, I, I guess I download. Uh, So I'll just put this here, downloading Power BI. Wait, uh, I open the, oh, I opened Visual Studio, sorry about that. I think uh, I, oh, okay, sorry, I, let me check. Okay, so I have this uh, <coughs> Power BI desktop already. Uh, it's going to take some time to power up source. So the, that's that's you can uh, this this can be easily downloaded. Power BI is absolutely free, so everyone can download that. Okay, and uh, the next thing is let me check for these spot fire. Ipco uh, student license. Let me see whether you can apply separately for this. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, so it's also for students. So this is this is where you can apply for the Tipco license. Um, so I'm going to put these uh, four URLs where we need to put in. My God, Visual Studio. That's it. Sorry about that. Uh, just my system. So uh, I have Tipco up and running. Uh, I guess uh, your session timeout, sign back in. So let me sign this. Here also in all the places you have to use your IB account. <clears throat> yeah, so this is actually the Power BI. So this is this is where so click plus again if you want to add data or open files, uh, I can download for Windows the uh, app there. So I, we have these visualizations. Okay, so I, I'm not going to be touching this right now, but you know this is a this is also running on the cloud, and the click is also running on the cloud. But uh, the um, I have the uh, the desktop app uh, the um, Power BI is actually a desktop app. So that's running not on the cloud, but that's running on the on your desktop, okay? So that's the second thing that you have to do that you have to understand the course outline first, and then you have to see whether you want to take the course or not. And then you have to actually, um, uh, you have to then actually uh, download all these softwares, okay? And then uh, you also have to fill in the Google form. So should should I give should I give these URLs right now or uh, should I put them on LMS? Sir, LMS will be better. 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 LMS will are we going to use all the softwares at once? Matlab, should, uh, or are we going to use one software at a time and then eventually we'll move on to other softwares? We're going to be doing one at a time, obviously. Uh, and we're going to be working uh, two data sets per uh, tool. That's my plan. 
and uh, some of you might say but that does not seem to be a very good strategy or you might think that this might seem to be a very aggressive strategy but um, my thinking is that if we work with different tools then it will broaden your horizon more as compared to working with a single tool that's my that's my thinking my hypothesis might be wrong uh, so Uh, इसमें ये है कि आपको हर चीज का फ्लेवर मिल जाए जो इंडस्ट्री में चल रही है uh, तो उसमें इमेजिन के यू कैन राइट ऑन योर लिंक ठीक है कि आपके पास ये चारों चीजों का एक्सपीरियंस है ठीक है दैट्स दैट्स अ बिग मेरे ख्याल में दैट्स अ बिग डील और अगर ओ uh, हाँ oh, एक चीज मैं भूल गया एक चीज मैं भूल गया आपको बताना Uh, वो चीज मैं भूला ये हूँ कि यू हैव टू शो केस योर प्रोजेक्ट जैसे मेरी अभी माय वेबसाइट ऑफ द लैब इज ऑलमोस्ट रेडी सो लास्ट सेमेस्टर में जो मेरे साथ वेयर हाउसिंग में स्टूडेंट्स थे तो दोज हु डिड अ वेरी गुड प्रोजेक्ट तो आई विल बी शो केसिंग दैम ऑन माय वेबसाइट बट इन दिस केस आई गेस जो भी आप स्टोरी बनाएंगे वो यू कैन शो केस ऑनलाइन राधर देन पुटिंग ऑन द वेबसाइट वेबसाइट पर मैं भी लिंक डाल दूंगा तो Uh, if you can if you can do that on your on your own personal website that will be great uh, but i think we can also do that on the cloud so we'll need a url for that so you have to showcase it or phir uh, mera plan abhi yahi hai jo pichle semester ke projects mein bhi ke i put i plan to put them on linkedin very soon now because the website was not there so kali meri meeting hui hai is hafte mein inshallah ye kaam bhi ho jayega so that is going to add to your profile theek hai to linkedin pe Uh, मैं जब डालूंगा इनशाला अल्लाह से उम्मीद है कि दैट इज गोइंग टू ऐड टू योर प्रोफाइल और फिर हमारे पीपल एक्सपेक्ट गुड थिंग्स फ्रॉम आई बी ए सही है तो आई हैव नो हेजिटेशन इन यू नो प्रोपरगेटिंग व्हाट यू आर डूइंग इफ यू डू इफ यू वर्क रियली हार्ड देन इट्स गोना बी गुड फॉर योर कैरियर इनशाला तला सो लेट्स 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 स्टार्ट तो I have no presentation for today, but I'm going to be telling you some basic things. Um, so, you you know, uh, 19 in 1950s, uh, there was a person whose name was uh, Alan Turing. So, Alan Turing first gave the idea of computers. Uh, he he asked the questions can machines think theek hai so that was the foundation of uh, computing ai or phir uh, you know very well that the first computer was uh, uska naam jo tha first computer ka that was actually uh, eniac and uh, wo that was the size of a garage it was basically a calculator um then what happened was ke uh, aapka <clears throat> 1950s mein hi uh, there was someone developed the perceptron which is a sort of a art AI and all of it's a machine learning technique, machine learning algorithm, in fact, and it's a it's the foundation for deep learning algorithms. So, उसके बाद there was a you know इस इस चीज के बाद लोगों ने कहा कि this was able to do some sort of basic recognition task. So, उसके बाद expectation लोगों की बहुत ज़्यादा बढ़ गई कि AI क्या ये भी कर देगी, AI वो भी कर देगी, ठीक है? और हमारे पास अनकरीब है वो खत्म हो गई क्योंकि वो लिमिटेशन की वजह से काम आगे बढ़ नहीं सका सो नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज में एक जो रेवोल्यूशन आया था दैट वॉज बेसिकली आप ये कह लें कि जो ट्रांजिस्टर सेमी कंडक्टर semiconductor technology or transistors etc 
कि यू वर एबल टू बेसिकली स्टोर इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल्स थ्रू दिस टेक्नोलॉजी सेमी कंडक्टर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड दिस गेव राइज टू दी कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइक स्मॉल मदरबोर्ड which can have which can have many thousands or hundreds of transistors each storing signals theek hai and then obviously uske baad jab wo badhti chali gayi to then you had the ic's are being integrated circuits are which consisted of you know many things together and then you had the processors and all those things so wo sari cheeze aapki 1970s 80s mein chalti rahi um uske baad 1970s mein hi uh, this problem was solved someone came up and uh, introduced the idea for uh, back propagation so some of you jo ke machine learning wagaira padhenge uh, they will they will get to know ke neural networks basically work on the concept of back propagation or sari deep learning is almost working through back propagation back propagation is the way you train the neural networks uske baad se phir inki funding dobara shuru ho gayi etc etc बट दे launch anything they were not able to launch anything and why was that because they were very busy in hardware so ibm was in those days very famous for hardware so what what happened the other thing then what happened was ke out came actually uh, oracle so oracle basically uh, launched their own first rtbms and sql that was in 1970s and uh, then uh, in you can say in 1980s out came uh, ibm came out with the db2 and along all this time you know sql continued to improve the initial sql might have been very rough okay so sql always continued to improve so i don't know currently we have version 5 or something like that i'm not pretty sure about that um and then in the same in the same year in the same decade i guess uh, we also had uh, 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 sql server by microsoft <clears throat> and obviously in, in the same decade we also had the uh, the pers- the concept of the personal computer uh i think it was uh, apple proposed that right apple brought about the first personal computer and then um in 1990s many things happened in 1990s uh 1990s mein zyada to i guess ye tha ki we had i think a mysql and postgres postgres sql okay so these two rtbms came out the ye all of these these five are considered to be the top most databases right now which you must be knowing um then also we had the internet which was you know developed in switzerland uh, i don't know it was probably in cern i'm not pretty sure about that who the person who gave the idea of internet was uh, i think it was in switzerland that the idea came out uh, i'm yeah tim berners lee i think he is the one who proposed the idea right but there were some things that were going on already in usa so the internet came and um, now we come to the domain which concerns us quite a lot okay um by this time when we had the internet and you know we continuously uh, we had uh, the uh, hardware was getting cheaper and more freely available uh especially personal computers so everyone every company started to have their own personal computer and in 1990s also we have something uh the launch of windows 
लॉन्च ऑफ विंडोज आई थिंक विंडोज 3.1 का लॉन्च भी 1990s में हुआ था इनिशियली and then obviously we had windows 95 then we had windows 98 which was a huge failure and then we have windows 2000 and then we have windows xp which was very successful so uh, these things are also happened in in this time but what concerns us in in this time is that you need to understand that the data started to you know uh, collect data started to be collected very frequently so i'll just write that down here 1990s that's what concerns us right now now um theek hai abhi tak koi sawal to nahi hai no sir no sir hey, sir okay so 1990s mein ye hua ki um people or companies started to have data stored in files and later in excel you can i guess microsoft office was also brought about in 1990s so text files data files and excel files that was the first storage medium uh, and also databases obviously primarily i guess it was oracle and data in excel so these became these started to become the data sources aajkal aap de jab when you when you when you see a dbi tool so they use the term most of them data source theek hai so these started to become data sources in the 1990s um so they started to get the data what about the 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 the, the point to mention is that uh there was a strong realization in the developed world that we need to analyze the data <clears throat> okay and why was this realization there because uh statisticians statisticians had been working for the last 100 years or more maybe okay so statisticians were working since the last 100 years doing research in mathematics and statistics all about box plots and normal distribution plots poisson distributions um all of this started you know like 2 or 300 years ago so the the field of statistics was was very well developed i think it was the only field that was well developed at that time and statisticians were used to analysis already in 1960s and 70s they 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 knew that the data could be analyzed according to these 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 things but there was no tool to do it okay so there was a strong realization in the developed world that we need to analyze the data so this this realization led to many different things being happening at the same time i guess if i can if i can say that so the first thing that happened was uh that people started to talk about uh data mining so they talk about data mining we have to mine the data and all of us know that data mining takes most of its knowledge uh from maths statistics linear algebra mathematics etc etc so people started to think that how we can actually you know um how we can how we can actually make use of the data to make predictions right they did not know that data wrangling is very important and you know removing errors is important or doing bi is also very good they they started to think about data mining so that term came into existence data mining and the first thing that happened was i guess ke kuch tools uh they came into existence so a uh, beka was one such tool and beka still is a very good tool for machine learning the other tool was uh, rapid miner and again it still is a very good tool it's a very large community and the other famous tool is nine jo ke dr sajad ne apne courses mein kafi padhaya hai uh, iba mein theek hai 
uh, I have personally worked with Rapid Miner and Vecra. I have not worked with Nine. Okay. So I have Rapid Miner key. I found the community to be very, very comprehensive. So if you want to do data mining or this ko aajkal hum data science bhi kehte hain aur machine learning bhi kehte hain to ya predictive analytics bhi kehte hain so all of these terms are interchangeable you need to understand that theek hai so predictive analytics data science machine learning data mining so all of these used are interchangeably ye use hoti rehti hain so if you want to do that through drag and drop and you know you don't want to get into python then you can look for these tools particularly rapid miner so this is the thing which is keeps kept on developing itself even up to now but obviously uh, nowadays we are working also on python and r so they have become the de facto standard for doing data science okay so i hope this is clear so people started to talk about predictions and forecast another another type of people who wanted to analyze the data were were basically guys who wanted to do data warehousing okay and the the need for data warehousing actually was i guess it was developed in 1980s they saw that we need to do this stuff data warehousing and uh, the person who i guess has the most say in this matter is uh, kimball is retired now obviously uh, ralph kimball uh so he developed all the things which jo hum aajkal maine pichle semester mein sabko padhai hai ali amir aur ye sare jitne bhi the haniya all of these guys were there so that's like dimensional modeling star schema snowflake schema okay olap cube or methodology background knowledge all the things jo warehousing se related hain uh wo basically they were developed by mostly by kimball the other guy who is more famous also is inman but he is not he is considered to be the father of warehousing but zyada existence aapko ralph kimball ki nazar aati hai and even up to now uh, data warehousing ka concept is very very strong to analyze the data do remember that there were some people who were and there are still some people in pakistan and in other countries of the world who are actually analyzing the data through sql okay i'll not write that down here let me draw another line so you might ask ke data ko analyze karne ke kya kya tarike hain to main aapko wo bata raha hu theek hai um oh by the way do remember that data mining involves eda which is a very comprehensive activity data for data warehousing SQL may there is no EDA. SQL you just directly query the table. So you can consider that this is uh, the most uh, you can say naive method of analyzing the data. ठीक है जी? Is this thing clear? This might be the most yes, naive method of analyzing the data. और IT वाले इसको सारे दिन इस्तेमाल करते हैं because they are not data analysts. Uh, they they don't need to you know. they don't need to draw charts and make dashboards or make predictions they just need to manage the data so they can use sql for managing the but sql is not a uh, definitely it's not an analytical language the point was that data warehousing was actually uh, it was a difficult thing to do expensive difficult complicated theek okay. hai so people said yeah ye to it's a good thing but you know this is taking too much time this is taking too much money uh, i will explain how that turned out so teradata was one company jo ke data warehousing mein it was very famous in 1980s and 90s now it's not that famous uh ab teradata wale ne apna cloud launch kiya hai ab uski kafi publicity aati rehti hai because they want to compete obviously with azure and aws i don't think so that they will be able to do that um so this was very expensive and there were lots of companies who did that and bought these teradata warehousing solutions but it was very expensive so then people said yaar isko masle ko hal karne ke liye let's do something interactive so then out came the field of business intelligence 
And again, uh, th this was in the 1990s. All of this is happening in 1990s. Okay. So out came business intelligence. And obviously, uh, business business intelligence ka jo concept hai, wo bhi aapko America se hi aaya tha. Mujhe bhool gaya hai ki wo koon tha banda Doug Lenny tha, I guess, who gave the first definition of business intelligence. So the concept was that we want to solve this complexity of data warehousing. And then we want to empower the users to do it this themselves. Okay. So BI technology kept on evolving and is still evolving. There are lots and lots of BI tools, but some of them have become very famous. So this is how it has happened. The other ways we can analyze the data are basically through big data analytics. Big data analytics is BI warehousing, data mining, time series forecasting on big data. And the last thing that we can do to analyze the data is deep learning. And deep learning is meant for very complicated tasks like speech processing, image processing, uh, video processing, sequence processing, uh, social network data processing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So now if you, I can, I want to do BI, I can do that BI on big data, like I can do BI on Twitter data, uh, on Facebook data, I can do that on IoT data. Okay, so I can do BI for any type of data. And the, the jo initially jo hamari ek, uh, tendency hoti thi to make a data warehouse that is slowly, slowly, you know, changing. So I'll explain how did that happen. Okay. okay, so now let's talk about, let's talk a bit about data warehousing. So data warehousing assumes very simply that your data consists of two types of data. One are the numerical data. You can call them facts. You can also, you can also call them measures. You can also call them KPIs. Okay. These three you can give them. Maybe there is another name. And the other type of data that you have are basically the categorical data. You know what's a categorical data, right? I mean, so it's a string data. So like you talk about products, uh, you talk about uh, the different locations on which you are selling the products. Um, you talk about the type of customers you have. You talk about uh, the time, okay? At which you sold, sold the product, etc. So all of these things are basically categorical data. So we call them primarily dimensions. We call them dimensions, okay? And data warehousing assume kya karta hai? Data warehousing assumes that, now you have to be really careful understanding that, okay? I want to analyze each and every KPI across one or more dimensions. That is the way data warehousing is done. Okay, so one so of the one mean? of the sorry. What does this mean? Ye baat samajh nahi hai. Haan. So what does this mean? For example, I have a KPI which is sale. A KPI is anything which is related to your revenue. So sales, customer footfall, uh, customer number of customer logins, number of items in the customers in the customer's cart number of responses to the marketing campaign, uh, the yield in the agriculture, the number of people who took my insurance uh, insurance package, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The number of cars which were bought, et cetera. Everything that is related to the revenue is, is a potential KPI or a measure or effect. So I, I want to analyze my sales across products. Well, I want to say that uh, what is the total sale? So here we obviously sometimes we talk about mostly we talk about aggregates. We have to understand that. In in most cases, I basically total total the KPI. So I want to talk about the total sales uh, mm -hmm. with respect to product. Okay. 
I want to talk about total sales with respect to location. Total sales across product. What is the total sales for confectionery items? What is the total sales for clothes? What is the total sales for shoes? What is the total sales for cheese? Across location. What is the total sales for Karachi? What were the total sales for Lahore? What were the total sales for uh, defense? Across time. What are the total sales for quarter one? What are the total sales for January? What were the total sales for quarter one and two combined? Do you get the point? Okay, numerical data hai. The only way I can analyze them is across the dimensions. Why would I say what were the total sales? That does not make sense to me. I would always ask that, tell me the total sales across something, and that across is called dimensions. So when you go to BI tool, mein jayenge na, BI tool mein sari dates or string variables, they are going to be categorized as dimensions in most cases, and all the numerical data is going to be correct, characterized as a measure or a fact or a KPI. So in warehousing, that's what I want to do. Is this thing clear? Clear to everybody? Yes, sir. Now comes the problem. I told you in the last slide that there were problems. What was the problem? The problem was that if I calculate the total sales, I'll write that down. So now pay, uh, pay attention to what I'm writing. If I calculate the total sales across all possible combination combinations of dimensions this will generate too much information let's suppose ke mere paas 5000 products hain 10 locations hain aur time stamps jo hai na wo mere paas 3000 time stamps hain 3000 din ke liye main kaam kar raha hu theek hai to total combinations agar main simple maths bhi karu how many total sales will i be will i be able to calculate do remember that i can also aggregate two things together so i can say ke uh, what is the total sales across clothes for Karachi? Okay. So, if I have a basic level, if I have 5,000 multiplied by 10, multiplied by 3,000, how many sales, total sales ki values can I have? Sir, 152. 15 million into 10, 1.5 billion. Something like that or 0.15 billion. Let's say 1 billion. Right? Achha, ab aapki akal kya kehti hai aapko? Itni sari sales active, itni sari total sales mere paas aajayengi across so many product combinations. So meri akal mujhe ye kehti hai ke I definitely as a C level as a business analyst do not need so much information all the time. Right? For example, I know that Karachi is a weak point. Karachi is not very sales. So I will say that I will take all the other locations and I will So why do I need to calculate all the different combinations aggregates together? ठीक है समझ में आ रही बात की जी सर हां तो आई डू नॉट नीड्स इंफॉर्मेशन ऑल दिस टाइम और दूसरा फिर प्रॉब्लम इससे बड़ा प्रॉब्लम भी आप कह रहे हैं जो है वो ये है कि स्टोरिंग सो मेनी सेल्स एग्रीगेट्स इन द सेम प्लेस रिक्वायर्स अ वेरी लार्ज Multi-dimensional, yani 3D, 4D, jitri dimensions hongi, product, location, time, 
उतनी ही डायमेंशन बढ़ती चली जाएगी अ वेरी लार्ज मल्टी डायमेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर विच इज कॉल्ड एन ओलैप क्यूब एक्सपेंसिव टू मैनेज जहर सी बात है आपको उसके लिए स्पेस चाहिए रैम चाहिए आपको ज्यादा जगह चाहिए जिसमें आप इतना बड़ा ओलैप क्यूब स्टोर कर एक्सपेंसिव टू मैनेज एंड डिफिकल्ट टू ब्राउज Even if you give me these one billion values, your one million values, your five million values, how how in the world will I be able to browse through these five million values in a, in a in a good way? That just does not make sense. Understand? So, ये these are the problem. This is the exact problem. Just की वजह से लोगों ने कहा कि भाई ये हमें इस बारे में कुछ करना चाहिए. This is not the way that we are going to be moving forward. The other the other problem. ये सही है? Is this thing clear? Yes sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, चीज जो थी वो जो लोगों ने इसको इसको देखा वो ये था कि आई कॉन्ट स्टोर दैम एट द सेम टाइम ठीक है इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ब्राउज द ओलैप क्यूब ठीक है और फिर दूसरा मसला ये था कि दी सबसे बड़ा मसला इनफेक्ट मेरे ख्याल में ये था द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिजाइनिंग दी डेटा वेयर हाउस वॉज वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड टाइम टेकिंग एंड एक्सपेंसिव ठीक है गिवन दी हार्डवेयर एंड सॉफ्टवेयर लिमिटेशंस In 1990s and 2000s. अब ये जो जिन्होंने जिन बच्चों ने पढ़ी है वो डेटा वेयर हाउसिंग आप उनसे पूछे कि इसको कितना लंबा हमने प्रोसेस एग्जीक्यूट किया है और कितना कॉम्प्लिकेटेड प्रोसेस एग्जीक्यूट किया है उसको डिजाइन वेयर हाउस के फॉर्मेट को डिजाइन करने के लिए सो द रीजन फॉर दी क्रिएशन ऑफ बी आई वॉज एग्जैक्टली दैट ठीक है I am going to get into the details of hierarchies and star schema maybe in the next class. Right now, I am going to tell you that <coughs> BI ka kya chakkar hai? What is why BI came into existence? So you need to just just listen to what I am writing and focus on that. BI tools or BI ka ka jo concept hai. came into existence because we do not need we do not need all the aggregates of the olap cube all the time and we don't have the resources to manage the creation of our data warehouse as it is an expensive activity by all definitions time bhi lag raha hai paise bhi lag rahe hain tension bhi lag rahi hai theek hai so bi solves this problem in an interactive way by allowing you to extract whatever information dhyan rakhiyega bahut dhyan rakhiyega whatever information you want to solve your business problem at any time at any given time in an इंटरक्टिव वे ठीक है बी आई सॉल्व इज प्रॉब्लम इन इंटरक्टिव वे बाय अलाउंग यू टू एक्सट्रैक्ट वट एवर इंफॉर्मेशन यू वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व योर बिजनेस प्रॉब्लम एट एनी गिवन टाइम इन एन इंटरक्टिव वे सही है जी समझ में आ गई बात की कि इसके बजाय कि मेरे पास एक इतना बड़ा मल्टी डायमेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर है जो कि प्रॉबेबली 
मैं पांच डायमेंशन यूज कर रहा हूँ तो फाइव डी में इतना बड़ा मेरे पास लैब क्यूब पड़ा हुआ है और मेरे उसको स्टोर करने में टेराबाइट्स ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन लग रही है उसको ब्राउज करने में मुझे मुसीबत पड़ी हुई है सही है मैं उसको डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट नहीं कर पा रहा मुझे रैम बढ़ानी पड़ रही है मुझे सर्वर्स देने पड़ रहे हैं टेरा डेटा की एक्सपेंसिव मशीनें लेनी पड़ रही हैं तो इट जस्ट इट जस्ट नॉट मेजरिंग अप फॉर मी इट जस्ट नॉट एडिंग अप सो वट आई डू इज दैट आई आई गो टू द बी आई साइड तो मैं बी आई का तो देखो यार बात यह है कि आई गिव यू द फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी तुम्हारे पास एक बिजनेस प्रॉब्लम है तुम्हारे पास डेटा है लेट्स फॉरगेट अबाउट वेयर हाउसिंग वे गोना फॉलो द सेम कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेयर हाउसिंग ऑफ डायमेंशन एंड के पी आईज बट द प्रोसेस ऑफ एनालिसिस विल नॉट इन्वॉल्व द डिजाइन ऑफ एनी स्टार स्कीमाज और स्नो फ्लेक्स स्कीमाज और एनी और एनी अदर थिंग फॉर दैट मैटर वे आर गोना ट्रांसफर सम कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम डेटा वेयर हाउसिंग टू बी आई we are going to transfer some concepts from data warehousing to bi which is the concept of an olap cube which is the concept of a hierarchy which is the concept of a fact and which is the concept of a dimension i have already told you what these two terms mean three teen cheezon ka to maine bata diya hai fact dimension olap cube hierarchy ye concepts hum yahan transfer karenge but we are not going to follow the process of warehousing at all ha huh, yes we we also have to transfer eda we have to transfer eda at all costs otherwise things will not work out so then your problem becomes solved ke at any given time aapko koi masla aata hai you have have a problem at any given time you basically have the the solution to interactively solve it in whatever way you believe is possible so if you have a very large olap cube something a very large multi container structure and to solve the problem you just want a part of this olap cube so you can put this part of the olap cube on a bi dashboard and not in a way in which we used to put that on the olap cubes dashboard this is a bi dashboard so it is all done interactively using pie charts and um ribbon charts and sankey charts and heat maps and tree maps and score cards um and different types of indicators and box plots etc etc blah 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 histograms so that's how you actually solve the problem so the the other thing that you want to keep in mind theek hai ye clear hai yes sir okay Yes, the other thing, the other thing that all of you should keep in mind, very important. BI allows you to discover more than what was possible to discover. using olap cubes kya mai isko kehte hain bi dashboards allow you to discover more than what was possible to discover using olap cube dashboards because of the presence of different types of charts and because of self service फैसिलिटी <coughs> हर आदमी को अपने तरीके से इजाजत हो गई है कि वो अपने तरीके से डेटा को एनालाइज करे देर फोर एवरी पर्सन इज एबल टू डिस्कवर मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर एंड मोर ओके सो इवन द बी आई टूल्स जिन्होंने बनाए हैं उनको भी नहीं मालूम कि इसके अंदर से क्या क्या पोटेंशियल हो सकता है ठीक है वेन यू कंबाइन different charts in a dashboard this generates a previously unknown information which solve your problem theek hai which has the potential to solve your problem kyunki is tarah ki baat सर्टिव बात नहीं करनी चाहिए फिर अल्लाह का निजाम भी चल जाता है बाजू का इट इज द पोटेंशियल टू सॉल्व योर प्रॉब्लम ठीक है सही है जी आपको आई गेस इट इज वेरी क्लियर नाउ
ओके एवरीबॉडी यस सर यस यस बड़ी बात है वो स्टिल वी हैव 36 पीपल आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग के सम ऑफ यू माइट ड्रॉप आउट दैट्स गुड दैट्स गुड ऐसा ना हो कि ये पहली क्लास में ही हो आपकी ये 8:30 बजे क्लास है तो भाई देख लीजिएगा अगर आप लोग नहीं आएंगे तो आपका बहुत ज्यादा नुकसान होने का खतरा है सो आई जस्ट वांट टू शो यू दिस अभी टाइम खत्म हो गया है लेकिन आई जस्ट वांट टू ये आपका डेटा स्टूडियो है सो लेट्स क्या कहते हैं दिस कैन बी एक्सेस यूजिंग गूगल सो इफ यू हैव योर गूगल साइंट एंड यू कैन राइट डेटा स्टूडियो डॉट गूगल डॉट कॉम तो मेरे एक दोस्त गूगल में है तो आई हैड चैट विद हिम रिगार्डिंग दिस तो मैंने कहा कि हाउ डज योर टूल कंपेयर विद पावर बी आई बिकॉज इट्स नॉट अ वेरी यू नो वेरी फॉर्मल बी आई टूल तो उसने कहा कि इफ इट सर्व योर पर्पज ठीक है नहीं समरी प्लेस डिस्क इफ इट सर्व योर पर्पस देन यू शुड यूज इट इफ इट डज नॉट सर्व योर पर्पस देन गो टू पावर बी आई ठीक है कि एवरी टूल हैज इट्स ओन पॉजिटिव्स एंड नेगेटिव्स ओके सो जस्ट टू टेल यू ये मैंने उसका बाय डिफॉल्ट एक डेटा ऐड किया है और ये उसका इंटरनेट का डेटा है सो आई डोंट नो वी हैव अराउंड 215 रोज सो लेट मी सी मैंने इसके साथ मैंने खुद भी आगे से इसका हाथ साफ नहीं किया हुआ पहले I just want to tell you that like for example population can be an population can be an indicator of the kpi and the country obviously is an indicator of uh, a dimension okay so here you can see on the right side ke ye 1 2 3 1 2 3 means a number and that means a fact theek hai or a measure abc means a year year ke do columns hain etc so this is basically the world population data so let me add a chart here uh so i can add a scorecard so the total population so oh, it takes some time so uh this is this is the total population across all the uh you know this this thing okay but if i if i add a dimension here so let me first delete this तो so, ये इस तरह की चीजें टिपिकली हम ऊपर रखे थे स्कोर कार्ड्स में ना दिस इज अ स्कोर कार्ड दे दिस इज द टोटल पॉपुलेशन बट आई कैन आई कैन ऐड अ डायमेंशन हियर सो इट इज शोइंग मी द सम ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन सो दिस इज लेट मी सी सो दिस इज एग्रीगेशन दैट इज दिस इज द ओनली एग्रीगेशन व्हिच इज अलाउड आई डोंट हैव एनी रनिंग कैलकुलेशन ऑन दैट देन आई कैन ऐड ऐड अनदर चार्ट so so not let me see if i can have a google maps so i want to show currently maine koi business problem nahi bataya i just want to analyze population information that's my business problem so uh, this is with respect to uh, the location with the country so country mein kitni population hai uske hisab se bata rahe but we can also if i color that with respect to the number of internet users might take some time to add metric acha add dimension sorry color dimension okay so i can color that with respect to let's say year um uh, sorry about that to countries already showing so let's forget about this i'll delete this and uh, let me so this is the size with respect to the number of internet users okay so uh, the total population is being demonstrated but i have you know uh, so i have i have basically put that as a size so let me so this is this is the dashboard view and you know i can i can see that they, they have laid out the world flat like this i can't show the whole world at the same time obviously because that's the best so i can just zoom in here and you can see what what is happening in in different regions of the world in pakistan also the internet users are this many etc etc okay so just to just to get to a flavor of that of the dimensions and you know all those things 
तो दिस इज दैट इट व्यू मैंने भी ये काफी अरसे के बाद इस्तेमाल किया जस्ट टू टेल यू कि भाई ये क्या आई जस्ट वांटेड टू शो यू यू कैन यू कैन डू लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स हियर टू मेक द थिंग्स अट्रैक्टिव एक्सेट्रा सो आई कैन आल्सो हैव अ सैटेलाइट व्यू आई डोंट नो ओह वाओ इट सीम गुड माशाल्लाह तो आई कैन एक्चुअली आई कैन चेंज द कलर आई गेस यू कैन चेंज द कलर समवेयर बट दैट्स नॉट फोकस ऑन दैट राइट नाउ ठीक है सो वी माइट बी आई माइट बी डेल्विंग इनटू दिस डेटा स्टूडियो सही है uh in the first two or three lectures to show you what's a hierarchy and all those things and then we can go on to more fun because by, by that time please get that license in place okay so let's meet day after tomorrow inshallah sahi hai okay sir so mera kaam ye hai ki main aapko google forms i'll i'll just stop the recording thanks a lot don't go away right now <laughs>